let's graph this equation and uh, we're using transformations to graph it and I'm going to show you how I like to do it. I, I, for transformations I, I like to just give a couple simple rules and then use your brain and check your answer to make sure you did it right. So the rules are this. You, you already know the rules. That negative right there is going to flip it. See how it's a negative on the inside? So when you have a negative on the inside of a graph, let's think of an example. Um, x squared, if I make it negative x, would, an x squared is this, right? It's just a parabola. If I make it negative x squared, did I change anything? No. Because negative x squared is still positive x squared, right? Yeah. So all I did is I flipped it over the y-axis. So making the, ne the x on the inside negative flips it over the y-axis. That's how I remember that. Okay, I just think back to that very common example. All right? So that's going to flip it over y-axis. And you know that this in here, notice how you're adding a 4? That's going to shift it left or right. You're adding it to the x. And it's going to shift it one way, either left or right. I'm not sure which way, to be honest with you, because of the negative in here kind of throws things off. So this is what I'm talking about. There's, I'm sure, a sh formula and a shortcut you can use, but if, in my opinion, I don't memorize those, and it always works fine for me. This moves it up three. We know that moves it up three. We, we mo know move th that moves it either left or right four, and we know that flips it over the y-axis. So instead of doing this, it's going to be doing this, and it's got to be shifted now up three and over four. So let's do that. Let's shift it. Let's shift that graph up three and let's try shifting it to the left four. One, two, three, four. Because that's a plus and so it's the op you know, mm -hmm. the opposite, right? So that graph is right there and there it is right there. And that's what I think maybe the answer is, but actually it's not. And it's not the answer because if you plug in one of these points, now I'm gonna take and make sure I did it right, I'm gonna plug in zero right here. When I plug in zero I get 0 plus 4, which is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. I get the point 0, comma 5. The point 0, comma 5 should be in my graph. Well, that's right here. So that's not on my graph. So this isn't the right way. So I realize, oops, I guess I shouldn't have shifted left 4. I should have shifted 1, 2, 3, 4, right 4. And that'll be my graph. Okay. And that's how I do those problems. Instead of stressing out about memorizing some good way to know when to flip and how to flip and all that, because it kind of it's kind of different for every graph. I mean, I'm sure there's a really good explanation, but it's more complicated than I want to memorize. All I want to memorize is how to sh how to transform my graphs, and then I want to plug in points and make sure that I transformed it right. Because I'm going to do that anyway when I'm done with the problem. I'm going to make sure I did it right anyway by plugging in some points. So there's my graph. And you can even plug in another point to make sure. Let's plug in, well let's plug in this one right here. That one I'm guessing is 4 comma 3. Is 4 comma 3 on my graph? Plug in 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 squared is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 comma 3 is on my graph. And try another one. Try negative, try positive 2 here. If I plug in 2, it's going to be the square root of negative 2 plus 4 plus 3, well that's the square root of 2 plus 3, and the square root of 2 is about 1 point something, and so let's see, um, that's got to be 4 point something, 1, 2, 3, 4 point something is right there, so I did it right, Okay. that's what I suggest you do.